Okay, welcome back to Southern Bell Tarot. This reading is going to be over Love and Marriage Huntsville. I haven't started watching season four, so I had to go through the YouTube streets and verify the information before I ask these questions. Because I just want to make, make sure that I'm on the right track. Because some people just be submitting questions and don't even be accurate with the info. But there were no issues with these questions. I want to say that first of all. There were no issues, so... Good job to whoever submitted these. Okay, so the first question, um, Holy Spirit, is Marcel went to Africa and didn't take his wife, Letitia, with him. Letitia, Letitia, whatever. Did Marcel have another woman in Africa with him? Did Marcel have another woman in Africa with him? That's too many. I'm not doing that. It's late. We... What time is it? Because I said I was not going to let Tarot take up all my me time. Yeah, I'm going to get me some me time tonight. Did Marcel have another woman in Africa with him, Spirit? We got two women here. Okay. So this is his wife. Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Cups can also represent yeah, happy family could represent marrying in the money. Okay. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. He wanna... Okay, so this is what um he maybe yeah, he probably did because he did it because the side chick was mad at him. The, she turned into the Queen of Cups inverted, and he was trying to see the ace of cups and then the ace of wands, trying to renew the spark between in the relationship. He did it to um revive their relationship because she took a break from him yeah she stopped dealing with him and i think he took her to africa to make up for it um he knew it upset his wife and then his death is was yeah because he wanted this he wants his cake and he wants to eat it too he want to have his cake and eat it too he doesn't want things to change. He likes how things are. And I think this side chick stood up for herself and was like, I'm not going to keep dealing with this. And he took her to Africa to um, keep the romance alive. These cards, it's hard as stuff to shuffle. Give me more about his relationship with this side chick. Give me more about his relationship with this side chick. Give me more about his relationship. All this is a legend according to spirit. Nothing I'm saying in this reading should be taken as the truth. I acknowledge in the description box below that I can be incorrect at any time. Please read that if you're not familiar with it, okay? Give me more about the relationship with this. She's... Yeah, she was moving away from him because he wouldn't leave his family. And then here his wife is showing up again. The Queen of Pentacles is his wife. Give me more about, thank you. King of Cups. He's more compatible with the side chick. Because his wife is showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a woman that can do everything. But she also has emperor energy. She also has a lot of masculine energy. And that's not bad. Seven of Swords inverted. It's just the same thing as upright, basically. Yeah, there is something going on. And he really likes this side chick. She's significantly younger than him, too. Like, really young. Yeah, he's see? The Four of Cups. So, I don't even know if he's still dealing with this side chick or not. Honestly, he may, yeah, he may have taken her with him. But they may not even be on the best terms anymore. She's just, um, she's not having it. 
she wasn't having it when they were already on the rocks when they went to Africa. And he took her to um, make her happy, to try to convince her to stay in the situation. So I don't know. I can say with this energy, she may not have known that he was married. Why was the side chick so upset, Spirit? Why was the side chick so upset? She thought she was happy, but... Ooh, like this. Yeah, he's married. Yeah, he said that he was going to either... He was told her he was separating from his wife or going to leave his wife, and he didn't. So she may have known... Okay, so this is the question I want to know. Did the side chick know that they he was married when she met him? When she met Marcel, did she know he was married to Letitia? Or married at all? It don't matter. Did she know this was a... Did she know when she met him that he was... She had that sixth sense, that feeling that us women get that something about this wasn't right. I think he presented himself as a single man. I do think that. I think he told her that he was separate. Yeah. I think he told her that he was separating from his wife. She, I told you, this woman is the queen of cups and he came up. He's more compatible with the other woman, but she's not, she's smart. She ain't, this ain't, this ain't no Arion girl. And then his wife is just always, it's something, his wife even, his wife knows, his wife knows something ain't right. Why? Okay, so yeah, Letitia knows something ain't right. Why is Letitia acting like the two of swords? Like, it's right there in front of her face and she just acting like she don't see it. Because it's her husband. King of Pentacles, because he's her husband. Um, Marcel may be the money maker in the relationship. I thought all these family, I, I thought all of them had businesses together. See? This ain't one of the, nope, it's not one of them. Third party, three of cups is here, judgment. Okay, so Letitia acts like this, like she don't know what's happening because... This is typical of when older women get older. Like, who's going to want me? All I will be is a nine of pentacles, a woman that got everything but a man if I lose this man. This is low self-esteem at its finest. She, I mean, she knows. This woman is way intelligent. Yeah, she knows. She knows. And she going to... Okay, this thing, she knows something's going on. She just hasn't acknowledged it. I don't even know if she has enough information yet. But the thing is, when she do find out, she's going to flip. She is going, I mean, we're going to have some, we have, we're going to, yeah, when she gets clarity on this situation that she's being lied to, it's a tower moment. You hear me? It is a tower moment. If they got any anything they have going, any business joint business ventures, she's going to delay them. She's going to be extra aggressive. She's going to play hard to get. Three of swords, y'all. Five of wands poking at it. <laughs> what is this Ace of Pentacles about? I'm about damn up. Let me see. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Oh, she finna handle this money. I mean, she closed. She freezing bank accounts. How can you freeze bank accounts? Because I think this man make more money than her. But she wears the pants in a relationship. She is. She has the more masculine energy between the two of them. So what's the sad? Like I said, I don't think Marcel and, the, and this side chick are together anymore. Unfortunately, I think. How does Marcel feel about the side chick leaving for good? Because this, this um, side chick is very intelligent. She's not a dumb girl at all. Oh, he hates it. Wheel of Fortune. This man is hurt behind this shit, y'all. I can't make it up. Three of Swords, Four of Cups. To the Wheel of Fortune inverted. What is this? The Five of Wands. He's, this, this is representing his emotions on the inside. He's toe up inside about this woman leaving him alone. Okay, so one thing I want to say is this woman is not like Arion. I'm going to hand her her flowers and say that. 
she never overtly knew that he was married, but she did know that something was up. I do think she eventually found out. By the time she found out, she was in too deep. She had feelings for this man, so she couldn't just leave him. You know, that happens. That happens. Um, We've been there, okay? Um, And... But, you know, she wasn't like the difference between her and Ariane is Ariane was willing to play the side chick so long as she needs to. She was going to play that side chick fiddle until the day came that it got revealed. Like, and everybody found out then they get divorced. Um, this one is like, no, you are either going to leave your wife to be with me or I am going to leave. Now, you, you may say, well, she was still messing with a married man. But we can say by the time she knew she was married, messing with a married man, she was already in love. And y'all know that's hard to just up and leave somebody once you're already in love with them. So, he, I, ain't, I don't think he's a... I, don't, I ain't going to say he's a narcissist. He's just an asshole. And he he does... You know, that's what men do when they cheat. Like, they make sure they get that other woman in good to where she don't want to leave to where she's happy she's satisfied and you know it just make it hard for her to leave because now her feelings are involved he got her to that point but what i like about it is is she didn't stay in that energy she didn't just fester in that and say well like ariana well i just i really loved him i really cared about him then she's like no are you either gonna leave her and be with me or i'm going to move on to greener pastures and that's exactly what she's done so, Letitia, if Marcel is at home being mean towards you and being petty, he mad because his girlfriend left him. That man over there giving his wife hell because his girlfriend. <laughs> he over there, she thinking something going on with them. No, ma'am. This man, is, is he, he butt hurt behind that girl leaving him because he really liked that girl. And I, this is a very young, this is a young energy. This woman was very young. But you know what? It's not often that you see women her age. And I don't know how old she is, but I know she has to be younger than me. She's very young, young way younger than him. It's not often that you see women her age having this kind of common sense. So I think good things are headed her way because she got the, out of Dodge when she when she was, um, when this happened. I think another thing, this woman is very career oriented um, as well. She kind of knows that messing with a married man is not a good look. Like Ariane liked that. She liked she wanted that. Didn't she want a contract on the show and everything? Well, her don't even know what a two-parent household is over there. Tasha K had to explain it to her what oh slow bunny. Um this chick is like, no, this can affect my future. And it can, because think Ariane is a nurse. I don't care if she says she's a nurse. I don't know if that's true or not. Anybody check the registry? Because, you know, I'm a nurse. I know uh, your, your license should be on the website. So, I hope it's up there. Um, this woman knows that me messing with a married man is not a good look for her. Her. Um, her in the future. She knows that that can reflect on her nasty, nastily. This woman likely has her father or... Somebody in her family may run in the same circles as Marcel. Or she may run in the same circle as Mar um, not Marcel, Marcel. She may work run in the same circle as him. Um nevertheless, I think these two may have to see each other again. I'm definitely getting a financial someone working in the finance industry kind of energy. Um also, Letitia, if you get upset and try to come at this woman, she got she has cousins that'll fight you. I'm getting that. Like, I wouldn't try to put my hands on her because she's for sure going to pull up, stay in a car, and let her cousins and maybe some of her siblings beat your ass. Like, she's one of the people that I ain't even got to touch you because it's like her family protects her because she's the golden child. Like, she the one that can't go to jail, like, that she need to have a clean record so she can continue to prosper because they prosper because of her. Yeah, like, she's really on, like, I wouldn't pick a fight with this one. She can fight, too. She just don't have to because she got people that's willing. Yeah, one phone call and it's over for. It's over for. And, I mean, these women are going to scrap. Scrap. And it just as quick as it begins, as quick as it's going to be over with. I wouldn't recommend going at her violently because, like I said, I think Tisha could get, like, mad to the point that she would want to. Don't, don't do it with this one because you're going to get your ass beat. I'm just southern bell just trying to keep you from getting a black eye that's it like I'm, I'm serious like she has at least five cousins and like i'm seeing like they would take two cars <laughs> you know sometimes you know
girl, a lot of people got family members that just don't give a damn about going to jail. And that's her family. Like, her family really, she might not even, I'm just seeing her sitting in the car as a getaway driver, letting them whoop you and whoever you bring with you and then going home. I wouldn't try this one. I actually like this side chick. I'm going to take up for her. I think she didn't, I think she was young, but she wasn't naive. I think that she moved efficiently and quickly away from this man when she realized that no changes were going to be made in the relationship between him and tisha okay let's move on to the next question did maurice tell kimmy the truth did maurice tell kimmy the truth no weak ass got the strength inverted and the magician inverted magician inverted is manipulation strength inverted is weak strength inverted can also re represent someone who just is um Doing something underhanded, you know. No, he didn't tell her the truth. See? He felt like it would be the end of her day marriage if she found that out. Whatever it is that the moon. Yeah, he was lying. This man was lying. Lying. Just they, they, all these folks, they all get on my nerves. The high priestess come out inverted. Um, Kimmy, protect your intuition because he's got a tendency to get past being able to make you believe, not believe your own intuition. Don't let him get past that. What was he lying about? See, have you up, Queen of Wands and the devil up down there having sex with a, a, a third party? Baby, I'm on everybody tonight. This King of Wands. Woo! I hope everybody is getting tested. That's all I'm going to say. I hope you need to get tested. Everybody should be getting tested. Because this Queen of Wands gets around. You think you thinking that's just your side chick? No, man. No, sir. Yeah, he lied. Ace of Swords inverted. This. He's not going to want to leave, um, Kimmy. I'm still trying to get folks' names together. It's been a while since I watched the last season. Only people I remember is Melody and Martell, because Melody is my girl. Um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I like Melody, so that's why I'm not going to answer the question. Whether, well, yeah, I might answer if she'll get married again, because I think that's good to know. So, um, Maurice is not going to ever leave his wife. I think he has his indiscretions, but I think he's, for the most part, he's going to sustain this family unit. Um... I hate to say this, but this is just what I'm seeing in the tarot. Kimmy, he kind of feel like you're not the woman he first met and would like you to go back to being how you were when y'all first get together. But once you know you married for a while, you have children, things change. Not necessarily anything to do with your appearance. It's just like your attitude is kind of different. And this woman, this side chick is kind of emotionally... Like these men are having emotional relationships as well as physical relationships with these women. The biggest thing that's making them stray is the emotional attachment they have to these women that they meet. It's like they trying to, they chasing that feeling. And then the page of swords is inverted. Yeah, it's like, Kimmy, you need to watch him. Like, it's her, Kimmy and Letitia in the same boat. Y'all way too dumb to be letting these men over here finesse y'all. Like, y'all know these men is lying. I mean, maybe y'all trying to save face on the camera because I'm kind of getting that energy and they don't want to be embarrassed. But that's what, why I like Melody because she was transparent about everything that happened. I mean, her business played out for the world to see. But you, she's not the type of... She comes from a family where she's not... They're not easily embarrassed. I'm like that too. You, it's gonna, it, you can't embarrass me by anything I've done in my past, which is like, what, the bigger my platform get, I'm just sure, certain somebody gonna come out and say something. But I'm not embarrassed about nothing I've ever done, and I do it again. And I do it again. And again, I did, and I do it again. Like, that's literally, I'm, a, I'm that type of person. Oh, you ain't finna come embarrass me about nothing I did in my past. You damn right I did it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna own it and keep it moving because you can't embarrass me about it. I did it, whatever. Me at age, I'll be what, 32 in May is not me that I was when I was 22. There's nothing that you can do or say that's going to make embarrass me. Say what you want. Release whatever you want about me. I ain't saying nobody got no information on me like that, but it's hard to embarrass me. Because anybody that's known me from now, from just even 
two years ago can see the growth that I've gone through as a woman. So, and I, and I want y'all to also have an energy. I want y'all to be in the energy of not allowing people to embarrass you about how you were years ago. Even if it was just a year ago, that's a year ago. If you know that you've made growth and you've made progression, so what if they got want to release things about you? And so she did this. I did that when I was, what, 23? I did that when I was, what, 28? You know, like, I'm, I'll am i be 32 this year. You can't embarrass me about nothing I did in the past. And don't let nobody um, hold no, nothing over your head to make you feel like you can be, if you would be embarrassed if it comes out. Own it. I will own anything anybody got to say about me. Because I did it and I do it again. If given the opportunity and I do it and I'll be in an even higher vibrational energy when I do it. Because, you know, sometimes exes get like that. She was like this when I dated her and she was like, so what? I'm not her, the hug that you had. I'm this woman I am now. I kind of get that. I can't stand men like that. Some narcissistic Leo. Them be the ones trying to embarrass somebody. Destiny, does Destiny like Martel? Ooh. King and the Queen of Wands. Inverted. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, so this Page of Cups is touching the King of Wands. So even though this ain't in no spread, this time I take it because I'm I'm finna this really finna be an intuitive read right here. Cause let me see. Okay. I think that Destiny does like Martel, but this is the thing. Let me tell y'all something about Destiny. Destiny seen how he did his wife and this will not be hugged. We got the four wands inverted and the higher font inverted. Four wands retains its positive properties when it's inverted. But in this situation, would it be in with the higher font like this? No. This woman is not no fool. She saw how he manipulated his wife in the dissolution of that marriage. And she is, does not want to be the next dumb dumb. Okay. So you can bring this little funky cup all you want to. She's not interested in standing beside this man no um honestly i think that's what destiny is chasing is stardom i don't really think she cares it's like no nah. i think she does like martel but i don't think she would deal with him like that because mm -mm. no you can embarrass me see this woman is smart yeah she about she's about getting her coins making plans give me more about destiny give me more about destiny I kind of saw that when I saw that. Yeah, she she's dealt with something. Something has happened. She's recovering from something emotionally. And I'm not going to dig into that any deeper because that's not our business. Okay. But I think she does like Martel. But I think she's she's looking at this smarter than Ar Ariane would be like, well, Melody's gone. My turn. No, Destiny like, ah, you ain't going to embarrass me because that's all he going to do. Martel is all these men. I I ain't even gonna say that. Don't say that, Angela. You're gonna have a whole defamation. Y'all ain't gonna Tasha K me on this bitch. And I'm gonna say this again. Everything is a legend and according to spirit. Nothing I say in this reading should be taken as the truth. Okay? All right. So, will Melody ever get married again? That was the last question. Will Melody ever get married again, spirit? Will Melody ever? I got strength. Mm -mm. well okay so this is the thing got the strength to the four of cups it's too soon to tell she is healing from this last marriage ending um but she got plenty of suitors and she's not paying them no attention so it's too soon to tell whether she'll be married again let me see what is this i told you page of cups right here what else i got over here let's see yeah and she's still healing she's still healing She's still healing. Any closing energy on this? Let's do closing energy on the entire season. This damn thing about 25 minutes long. Ooh. Somebody going to be renewing their vows or getting proposed to this season. After an argument. Give me more. The three of swords at the bottom. Stuff is, stuff is the, the next episode. Things are going to start unfolding quickly. Okay. 
the bottom line I want everybody to take away from this reading is if these men did it, these women ain't leaving. Let's say I'm gonna I'm keep it a bean. Melody is the only one that got that loves herself enough to not to not let a man embarrass her like that. I said what I said. Um, uh, is that shade towards them? It definitely is, cause ain't no man finna disrespect me like that. Um, Melody deserves more recognition than she gets because, like I said, she's the only one that was willing to leave. You know. Black women get a certain age and they start thinking, I'll never get married again. Not at this age. Melody knows that what the universe has for her is for her. And that's why I think she's my favorite. That's why she's my favorite. Like, these other women are doing, are, know everything that's going on around them and just trying to save face. Look at stupid. While the whole town is laughing at you, dum dum. All them degrees and certifications y'all got and... Can't nobody get some, nobody has common sense. But that's kind of like women who are raised by strong women always are strong women, which kind of, that just, this, I'm going into childhood trauma and things like that. But if you were raised in a two parent household and your dad cheated on your mother, I've noticed that those type of women tend to deal with cheating men because they think that's just a part of marriage. But I think the healthiest thing in the world, and because a lot of my clients will say, well, you know, Southern Belle, I just don't want my daughter to be grow up in a two parent household or I don't want my daughter to um, see us separate. But you know what? That lesson that you're teaching your daughter is that you don't accept anything from any man because by staying because kids know what's going on, whether or not you put them in your business or not. They know um, that shows your daughter that you're a strong woman. My mom not being with my dad um, showed me that if. I wanted to not that I not that I necessarily would like to but if I wanted to or and or had to do it by myself I could do it by myself I think my mom I know my mom being a single parent and me watching her do everything herself is the reason that I'm so comfortable 